the bourbon. Bourbon is an American liquor. It's made from at least 51% corn. It has a little, wide variety of you know, different uh, legal controls on the manufacturing process. Bourbon is the classic American spirit. Uh, it takes the things that we're best at, like growing corn and shipping things, and turns it into booze. It's made mostly from corn, uh, primarily. So no, none of them makes it from 100% corn because that's terribly nasty. Everything mo moderates a little bit with wheat, uh, rye, barley, and you get a variety of different, you know, small manufacturers, artisan distilleries, and then you know, big industrial monoliths that just have run stills continuously and then, you know, barrel age and put them into rick houses, all those fun things. It's like an industrial cooperative. There are a handful of very large stills and then a few very small producers. Uh, they do most of the distillation uh, you know, all in one place, in, you know, in one general area of Kentucky and then people will buy the juice, barrel age it themselves and put it through different uh, legal definitions in order to make different things. You have bourbon, which comes directly from the still to the barrel, sits there for two years, has given proof requirements, which is say how much alcohol is in it. And then at the end it can be watered down to proof or barrel aged, cast strength. And there are two different qualifications for bourbon. There's straight bourbon, which is the two year, and then there's Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, which means that it is distilled and barreled and bottled in Kentucky although sometimes they age it in Indiana because the, because the real estate's cheaper. It's an art of blending because when you take them off the still, depending on where in the, in the warehouse you put your bourbon barrels, they're gonna evaporate at different rates. You know, higher up, it's hotter, you'll lose more of the alcohol. Lower down, it's cooler, but you won't get as much of the barrel flavor because you won't have the same expansions and contractions of the wood. So it really takes a master distiller's hand to blend them together and really get a consistently excellent product. And some bourbons, you know, whether the Kentucky straight bourbon whiskeys, some of them are doing more interesting things these days. Once it's legally qualified to be Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, for instance, this one's finished in port barrels afterwards to give an extra nuance of flavor to the ending and mitigate a little bit of the heat of the alcohol. The interesting thing about the bourbon barrels is they can only be used once. Uh, legally, it has to be new charred American oak. It started as uh, something to actually protect the Cooper's Union. Uh, not the one downtown, the Cooper's Union in you know, the southeast that actually makes the barrels. Once a barrel's been used for bourbon, it can't be reused to legally make bourbons. They ship them off to a lot of other places around the world to use as barrel aging. Generally not for wine because it, it's been charred and it tastes oaky and burned on the inside. But a lot of liquors around the world are made with used bourbon barrels. Bourbon is a wide style. Uh, it's a good one for people who are just trying to get into you know, drinking new liquors and trying new things because you know, you can tell a good bourbon from a bad bourbon real quick, but in the end, there really is no such thing as a bad bourbon. My, you know, my favorite bourbon is generally the one in front of me, uh, or all of them in front of me, in fact. And that's a quick summary of bourbon, corn whiskey.